In this video, we are going to learn how to create a new document. There's two ways of doing that. You can either click on the new icon here in the welcome screen, or you can go through the file menu. I'm going to choose this option here, which takes us to this dialog box, where there's quite a lot of settings. In this video, I'm going to only use the most important parts of it. For example, choosing the profile, which is also can be considered the intent of the document. Because I'm going to create a very quick logo in this document, I will pick print for its intent and the most commonly used size for that is A4. So I will stick to that. And the only thing I will change is the orientation. I will set it to landscape instead of using portrait. I'm not going to go into details about all the other settings here. We will come back to these later. For now, I'm just going to click OK. So that creates this new document in which we can already start designing. Every document will start with an artboard or multiple artboards, depending how you set it up. And these artboards essentially are like pages. So in the middle we have our document window, but around it is what we call the workspace or interface of Illustrator. And this is how it starts up the first time you open the application. Apart from these few elements that I have here in the libraries panel. This panel will only be available in Creative Cloud version of Illustrator. And if you have an active subscription to the Creative Cloud, you will also have an application running in the background where you can search for free assets. You can easily search for certain things like I typed in pen and you can see there's several different designs that I can download. All I need to do is whichever I prefer to use, I can just click on it and choose save it into a preferred library. These are all the libraries I created myself. Once I click on that, you will see whatever I clicked on will be downloaded and it will be ready to be used. Of course, for this feature to work, you have to be online and you have to be logged in to your Creative Cloud account. If you don't have the latest version of Illustrator, you can find a file which has already these elements ready to work with, so you can still follow this video. But for those with a Creative Cloud, make sure you find similar items and try to replicate what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to drag and drop this first element here on my artboard. Whenever I want to resize something, I just have to hold down the shift key and drag one of the corner points with which I can resize without distorting these elements. So I have these arrows there, then I'm going to drag and drop this heart shape. Once again, I'm going to hold down the shift key click and drag and resize it to around the size of that. And you can see when I click and drag to move these objects around, these purple lines appear, which are called smart guides, helping me to align them. I'm going to drag and drop the pen as well. Again, shift, click and drag, making it smaller, aligning it again to my design. And then I'm going to use the type tool now from the toolbar, you can select it or you can press T on the keyboard. And once this tool is selected, all you need to do is to click anywhere on the artboard. Now, the font I wish to use is called Futura PT Heavy. Don't worry if you don't have this font. You can choose any font that you have installed on your computer. And I will type in A. It's a capital A. Then I switch to the arrow tool, the black arrow which is called selection tool with which I can again move this around or I can also resize it holding down shift and dragging a corner point. Now that I have the correct size I just position it where I want this element to be and then to duplicate this I will hold down the alt key or option key and click and drag this onto the other side. Once again I will try to align it where I want it to place it and then to edit it, I will double click and select this letter, type in lowercase i. Whenever you want to quickly switch back to the selection tool, you can also press escape, which will stop editing text. And then you can always move it in place. 
if you are not happy with the original placement of it. So let me do this once again using the selection tool. I alt click and drag and I have more text here at the bottom. So I'm just going to type in since 1987, so 1987. Now, before I change the size of this text, I will also change the style on it to book. So that's a different format of this font. And I'm just going to reduce its size again, holding down the shift key until it gets to the size I wish to work with. So there you go, something like that. Now I'm just going to move it slightly further down. And now if you're wondering what this all means that I created, well, AI stands for Adobe Illustrator. That is the icon of the software. And 1987 was the date when it was first introduced. So currently it's almost 30 years old. And the reason why I used a pen icon is because the pen tool is one of the most iconic tools in vector design. So this is my home major or a way to celebrate the history of Illustrator and also a way to introduce you how quickly you can create something engaging and fun. But let's not forget that all the work that we do in Illustrator has to be saved into a document. So currently this document is still not saved. It's just an untitled document. But let's make sure we don't lose this work. So I'm going to choose File, Save. And it's important you remember where you save your file. So I'm going to save it into a folder on my computer and I give it the file name AI Logo. Notice that the default file format is AI. That's the actual extension. That is the native file format of Illustrator. Although it can save to different file formats, this is the best one. You should always use this first. And once you have your AI file saved, then later on you can always have different versions for different purposes. I will explain everything about file formats later on, but for now, let's just save it. And I am going to also choose the latest version here once this dialog box comes up. So as you can see, Illustrator is backward compatible, so you can always save a file for older versions like CS6, CS5, all the way back to Illustrator 3. And it's also an interesting fact and good to know that Illustrator Creative Cloud is actually the 17th version of Illustrator. I'm not going to spend more time on this. I'll just click OK. And with that, we have our first project saved. Now, of course, you might be wondering that it would be nice to add some color or make this a little bit more exciting, but that's how far I wanted to take it at this point. Of course, we will come back to it in a later video. And just to see how we will be able to access this, I'm going to close the document from the tab and I can either go into recent files and open it up from here, or from file, open recent files. Of course, you can also use file open and browse on the computer for any files. But in our case, I can just choose this and that will take us back to the way it was saved. Now that we discussed how to work with documents, in the next video, we will look at how to work with artboards.